Hey there guys, Nordic Warrior here. Quick post-fight review. So, Evgeny Romanov defeats Dmitry Kudryashov by unanimous decision. And I've got to be perfectly honest, man. This fight really surprised me. Now, it didn't surprise me the winner of the fight because I picked Evgeny Romanov to win the fight from day one. But what really surprised me was the fact that the fight went the distance and was actually in spots fairly competitive. Now, Evgeny Romanov won the fight and he, run, he won the fight very clearly. He was definitely the more effective of the two. But Kudryashov had moments here and there, particularly in the latter rounds of the fight. He actually really hurt Romanov in the 12th round and opened a cut above his eye and Romanov looked on the verge of being stopped. He was badly hurt in the 12th round, so that really surprised me. And Kudry Ashoff, he's one of these fighters who has a lot of power and he has a, a, a ton of heart. He's a very, very um, brave and courageous fighter with bricks in both hands, who's just very, very dangerous early on. But he's a fighter who lacks stamina. He lacks composure in the ring. He's one of these fighters who, when you put him under pressure and work his body and just get him going, he, he starts to fall apart, starts to get very disorganized in the ring and loses his defenses. Whereas Romanov is a much more patient, much more well-schooled, uh, much more fundamental, much more durable fighter. He's a guy who's very patient, tucks up nicely behind a tight guard, doesn't, doesn't waste any energy, um, picks his punches, and he's just a much more well-schooled and much more professional fighter than Kudryashov is. You know, Romanov's always prepared for a hard 12 rounds, and he's a difficult guy to really bait in because he's a guy who, like I said, he's very patient doesn't waste anything. So Kudryashov, while he was having his moments, he was never really able to draw Romanov into his type of fight. Now that actually did serve Kudryashov a little bit well, as I mentioned in the later rounds, because Romanov, while he was winning the rounds, just maintaining his composure, um, keeping his tight guard, blocking and landing the occasional jab, the occasional counter right hand over Kudryashov's jab, what what Romanov wasn't doing was he wasn't putting the pressure on. He wasn't really getting in there and roughing Kudryashov up like, say, Alunga Makabu or Duradola did, you know, guys who were able to stop him, or Dortikos. You know, Romanov never really looked like he wanted the stoppage. He looked to me like he was contempt to just box his way to a points decision. So it was a really good fight, man, a really entertaining one. Uh, Kudryashov surprised me with... His durability, I was expecting him to get stopped. But um, yeah, he managed to make it the distance. He managed to um, really pressure and trouble Romanov in the later rounds. Like I said, he badly hurt Romanov in the 12th round and opened a cut above his eyes. So who knows, maybe if Romanov on another night, you know, may maybe if Kudryashov had been a little bit fitter, if he'd had a bit more stamina, he might have been able to beat Romanov. But nonetheless, Romanov gets the victory, a clear unanimous decision win on points, and he's the WBC silver Bridgerweight champion. I believe it's the WBC silver title anyway that he holds, so we'll see what happens with the Bridgerweight division. Um, maybe he goes on to fight Oscar Rivas or Bryant Jennings, one of those guys, but yeah, Romanov's a good boxer, but he's never been a, a big puncher at world level. I think any, any world-class Bridgerweight or heavyweight would have probably had more of an effect on Kudryashov, but Nonetheless, I really, I really enjoyed this fight. It was a good one, man. And, and Romanov, good boxer, good, good patient, you know, composure and fundamentals. And I think he's a good fighter. I, I really do. But he just, he, he's not that big a puncher. He's not that uh, ambitious. You know, he never really looked like he wanted the stoppage to me. And as for Kudryashov, he's had a good career, but I think he should call it a day because he's really um, lost every single um, big fight at world level that he's had. So. Yeah, good luck to him. Great fight. I really enjoyed it, man. It was a much better fight than I was expecting. I thought that Kudryashov was going to get knocked out in five rounds. So good fight. Good win for Romanov. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and yeah, God bless.